Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here of Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install new protective pads that will also center the viewable image in your Bullock Rex turret. One, two, three small little pads with adhesive on them to support and center the viewable image in the Bullock Rex turret prism, aka transport prism. What I'm using is some of this um, Bolex pleather, the skin pleather that I put on Bolexes on the outside, as it's very thin and very similar to the original cork pads. You don't want to put those cork pads back in there, the original ones, because they will disintegrate and uh, drop down into your, your elements down in here, the glass elements in the turret. All right? as well as the shutter, cause a lot of problems. I'm going to use rubber cement to secure them on the back. Toothpicks and don't forget to wear your white cotton gloves so the oils from your fingers will not destroy the glass. Let's get started. Next what you want to do is apply some rubber cement inside the turret. There are little indentions in here where you can put it. All right you're going to find it's going to be easier to use a toothpick and apply the glue that way rather to the fab rather than to the fabric first. Then take your pad, fabric side up, and place it right in there just like that. Press that down on the glue. So essentially that's it. This particular pad, 10 by 15 millimeters. This pad, 10.4 millimeters. This pad, 10.5 millimeters. Next, you have to put your turret prism, transport prism right here, and mind the three pads around the perimeter. You got to start taking a toothpick, pushing this in and make sure that the pads don't roll up. All right, is what you got to do. So I'm going to start seating this in. And I will get back to you. Next, take your turret prism cover. Cut yourself a piece of padding. 19 by 25 millimeters, glue it to the back, just like so, and cover your turret prism and add the three screws, one, two, and three. It is not suggested to use the original type of foam on the back of the Bolex cover for the turret prism, because in about six months to a year, that stuff's going to become brittle, dry up, and break apart and fall down inside your elements. You shut on the rest of parts of the camera and cause issues. Next, put yourself a lens onto the tape position of your Bolex. And when you look through the viewfinder, more than likely it's going to be uh, unbalanced. It's not going to be uh, straight. The viewable image will be crooked. You'll need to realign the viewfinder. You'll need a Spanish screwdriver like this. And with these three screws, one, two, and three, with a cover off, You'll need to go through and look through the viewfinder, make an adjustment ever so slightly, put the cover back on to the viewfinder, and check it. If the viewable image is squared, it is centered. And that's how you do that. If you uh, don't have the full idea of it, I have a separate video that I will drop down into the link section comments of this video. And remember, any mistakes made upon your Bolex or your person and any attempt to repair your Bolex are on you. Do contact me at Bolex Repair Philippines FB page for parts, servicing, and questions. The same email. Bullock Repair Philippines at gmail.com. 
do click that bell down here and subscribe for future videos like this one on Bolex prisms and glass elements. For faster response, Twitter at Polar Morbid. And for gory experimental horror films, visit the Morbid Team Entertainment page. Until next time, see ya!